today back then. What happened today in modern history? Let's get most smartest. In 1478, the Pazzi family of Florence, Italy, led an unsuccessful plot to overthrow the ruling Medici family. You can hear Hannibal Lecter talk about this in the movie Hannibal. In 1607, the first permanent English settlers in North America landed at Cape Henry, Chesapeake Bay. They later formed Jamestown. In 1654, Jews are expelled from Brazil. In 1755, the first Russian university opens in Moscow. In 1768, the prestigious English Royal Academy of Arts hosted its first art opening. In 1777, during the American Revolution, Sybil Ludington rode through Putnam County, New York, alerting residents of the approaching British troops. But history remembers Paul Revere, not a 16-year-old girl. In 1785, ornithologist John James Audubon, known for his drawings and paintings of North American birds, was born in what is now Haiti. In 1841, the Bombay Gazette begins publishing, but not on paper, on silk. In 1859, Don Sickles is acquitted of murder on grounds of temporary insanity. This is the first time this defense is used successfully in the United States. In 1865, 12 days after assassinating U.S. President Abraham Lincoln, John Wilkes Booth dies at a Virginia farm. But did a federal soldier kill him, or was it suicide? We will never know. Also in 1865, the remaining federal forces surrender to Union General William Sherman in Durham, North Carolina, ending the U.S. Civil War. In 1912, Hugh Bradley of the Red Sox hits the first home run ever at Fenway Park. In 1915, Italy secretly signs the Treaty of London with Britain, France, and Russia, bringing Italy into World War I on the Allied side. In 1920, ice hockey makes its Olympic debut at the Antwerp Games. In 1925, Franz Kafka publishes his disturbing but brilliant novel, The Trial. In 1928, Madame Tussauds' waxwork exhibition reopens in London after a fire. Fire and wax. What could go wrong? In 1931, Lou Gehrig hits a home run in tonight's game, but is called out for passing a runner. The mistake costs him the American League home run crown. In 1933, Hermann Goering formed the Gestapo, the ruthless political police of Nazi Germany. Also in 1933, Jewish students are barred from going to school in Germany. In 1935, Frank Boucher is given the NHL's Lady Bing Trophy for sportsmanship permanently because he won it for seven of the 11 previous years. He must have been a great guy. In 1937, the German Luftwaffe destroys the Basque town of Guarnica in Spain, an event memorialized in Pablo Picasso's painting, Guarnica. In 1938, Austrian Jews are required to begin registering any property worth more than 5,000 Reichsmarks. In 1941, the Chicago Cubs start a baseball tradition by introducing the organ to their stadium. In 1942, a coal mine explosion kills 1,549 people at Honkeko, Manchuria. In 1954, Patty Berg shoots a 64, the best competitive round of golf by a woman. Also in 1952, the U.S. minesweeper Hobson rams the aircraft carrier Wasp killing 176 people. In 1954, widely considered one of the greatest and most influential films ever made, Kurosawa Akira's Seven Samurai was released. Also in 1954, mass trials of Jonas Salk's anti-polio vaccine begin. More than 443,000 children received the shots over the next three months. In 1956, the first modern container ship, the Ideal 10, leaves Port Newark, New Jersey, bound for Houston, Texas. In 1957, the folks in Jamestown, Virginia, have a festival celebrating their community's 350th anniversary. In 1964, the countries of Tanganyika and Zanzibar merge to form the United Republic of Tanzania. In 1966, Red Auerbach retires as the Boston Celtics coach. Also in 1966, the International Olympic Committee awards the German city of Munich the right to host the 1972 Summer Olympic Games. 
In 1968, students seized the administration building at Ohio State. I'm sure you've heard a few songs about it. In 1970, Stephen Sondheim's musical Company opens at the Alvin Theater in New York City and runs for 705 performances while winning six Tony Awards. In 1977, the -the over-the-top disco Studio 54 opens in New York City. In 1980, Iran begins scattering the U.S. hostages from the U.S. Embassy so they are no longer grouped in the same location. In 1982, Argentina surrenders to Great Britain, ending the Falkland Island War. Also in 1982, singer Rod Stewart is mugged on Hollywood Boulevard. The gunman steals his $50,000 Porsche. In 1983, Stanford quarterback John Elway is the first pick by the Baltimore Colts at this year's NFL Draft. In 1984, the one and only Count Basie passes away today. In 1986, the worst nuclear accident in history occurs in Chernobyl. In 1988, at the first TNN Viewer's Choice Awards, Randy Travis wins in five categories. In 1989, the Dalatpur Saturia tornado, which is the deadliest in history, kills 1,300 people in Bangladesh. Also in 1989, the incomparable Lucille Ball passes away today. In 1990, 126 people die in a 6.9 earthquake in China. In 1991, the TV series Dinosaurs premieres on ABC TV. In 1992, Grand Hotel closes at the Martin Beck Theater in New York City after 1,018 performances. Also in 1992, ABC TV airs the final episode of Growing Pains. It was a tough night for ABC because also tonight, and also in 1992, after an eight-year run, they air the final episode of Who's the Boss? In 1993, NBC announces that Conan O'Brien will replace David Letterman on Late Night. In 1994, a Taiwan Airbus A300 crashes in Japan, killing all 262 people. Also in 1994, Today was the first day of voting in the first ever multiracial elections in South Africa. In 1995, after a lengthy strike, the baseball season finally begins and Coors Field opens in Denver. In 2005, Columbia Records releases Bruce Springsteen's 13th studio album called Devils and Dust. Also in 2005, after 29 years, Syria ends its military occupation of Lebanon. In 2007, Jack Valenti, the longtime president of the Motion Picture Association of America, died at age 85. In 2010, Iron Man 2, starring Robert Downey Jr. and Gwyneth Paltrow, premieres in Los Angeles. In 2012, 70 people are killed by rocket attacks on the city of Hama by the Syrian army. In 2016, the CEO of Chobani Yogurt announces that he will be giving his employees 10% of the shares in his company. Can you imagine many CEOs doing that? I don't think so. In 2017, the TV series The Handmaid's Tale debuts on Hulu. In 2018, American comedian and actor Bill Cosby was found guilty of drugging and sexually assaulting a woman. Also in 2018, Joseph James D'Angelo is identified as the Golden State Killer. In 2019, Results released today from a general social survey indicate that for the first time ever, more Americans identify themselves as no religion than those having a specific religion. In 2021, the U.S., the EU, and several other countries announced that they are sending pandemic aid to India as its COVID-19 crisis continues to worsen. And lastly, in 2021 as well, U.S. Census results show that the U.S. population growth is the second slowest in recorded history. Thanks for watching today's show. I appreciate it. Make sure that you subscribe to my channel. I'll talk to you tomorrow.